ีระพงรามังกุล who's the chairman of the Yingluck government's advisory committee today proposed to increase the value added tax by one percentage point in an attempt to increase the government revenue to finance the government projects. The proposal is quite interesting because this government was trying to appease the voters by mm -hmm. many of its populism policies, but the increase of the value added tax by one percentage point is going it's to a big increase. Yes, mm -hmm. and it is going to affect the consumer as a whole. Mm -hmm. But we will talk about that later. Yes, let's keep that for later. Today we will talk about the selection of the central bank board chairman mm -hmm. because Dr. Virapong said on Thursday he has mm -hmm. accepted the nomination to be a contender for the uh, bank, central bank board, board chairman. Okay. He will re if he's elected or if he's selected, mm -hmm. he will replace Mamrachabong Chatumongkhon Sonakun, mm -hmm. whose term will end by the end of this month. Yes. So, Kuntun Satit, what's the implication of the selection of the board chairman? Uh, obviously, if Dr. Vilapong has become, uh, will become a board chairman of the BOT, he will, uh, the, go, uh, the Ying Lak government will have a more direction now through which it can exert influence on economic uh, of uh, monetary policy over the BOT. Uh, of course, uh, the BOT governor, Dr. Prasan, will still have the power to make decision, but uh, as we know, uh, currently the board chairman was uh, elected under the Democrat Party with Kun, uh, Dr. Vilipong coming in, it will be some kind of a balance of power and it would be easier for the Yingnet government to assert uh, its uh, uh, economic and uh, monetary policies over the BOT and we know that, uh, we know what the Yingnet government wants, uh, two major things. The first one being uh, lower interest rate. The government want to promote the export, want to uh, promote the competitiveness of Thai um, exporters. So that that is what the government want. The other thing uh, concern may be the the use of foreign reserve that uh, Dr. Willapong has been known to be saying about over the past few days. Mm -hmm. So, do you? It's quite interesting because usually the central bank anywhere in the world would try mm -hmm. to protect or guard against any instability mm -hmm. for its uh, monetary policy. Whereas the government, especially this Thai government, mm -hmm. they tend to measure their economic success by the high economic growth. Yes, but that's the bottom line of every government. But mm -hmm. do you think the government should intervene the operation of the central bank? Uh, well, with, when it comes to the issue of the independence of the central bank, my mind is really open. I'm really open about that. Um, if you have a uh, stop on BOT, uh, and maybe you will be inclined to support a visionary government. And it is, it the same thing happen. If, if you have uh, a government on a spending spree and you may want to support the uh, BOT when it comes to uh, financial or monetary um, discipline, of the country. Uh, so in this case, we have to look at the motive of the government. We have to look at the whole picture. Um, this government still has not been able to win over the critics. Uh, when it comes to the issue of spending, a lot of uh, critics are, are questioning the, uh, a lot of uh, projects that this government has adopted uh, uh, when it comes to spending. So. Uh, in this sense, I think the issue of independence of the central bank is really important. Mm -hmm. So what about the implication in terms of political mm -hmm. aspect? Because Dr. Prasan Pairat Varagun, who's a central bank governor, mm -hmm. and actually Mom Rachavong Chatumongkhon, they are both selected under the Democrat Party government. Mm -hmm. And over the past few months, we have seen the debate between this Finance Minister Kitarat Naranong mm -hmm. and Dr. Virapong Ramangun on one side, yes, yes. against um, Dr. Pasan over the monetary policy. I see. Um, what what you just said uh, confirmed that every government wants a central bank uh, people who can speak the same language as himself. Uh, well, uh, in this uh, particular situation, I think uh, uh, whatever mistake the BOT make in case. Uh, 
the doctor will appoint becomes the chairman of the BOT. Uh, whatever mistake is made by the BOT in the future will become highly politicized by the Democrat Party. We have seen uh, Kun Kon Jatika, when is the former finance minister of the Democrat government, he has come out tweeting against um, a lot of policy of this Yin Lak government and also on, uh, he so also focused his attack on the BOT uh, uh, policy and intervention. So we have to see the selection committee, how they're going to yes. decide. Uh, so what is happening now when it comes to the election of the chairman of the BOT? It is expected that the selection committee should come up with the result in the next few weeks because mm -hmm. the term of is going to end by the end of this month. Mm -hmm. And it's quite interesting, the selection committee consists of seven members. Yes. Uh, it is chaired by Kun Panat Simasatian, who is a former chairman of National Economic and Social Development Board. But, there, but the race of the member, the, the six members are elected under this government. Well, uh, it seems that uh, the next few weeks will be really important to uh, Thailand economy. Uh, it may not be front page materials for several newspapers, but it is very important to Thailand economic future all the same.